Welcome. Thanks for tuning in today. This is Yaz.life and my name is Yaz. This is the seventh part of the Voices in Your Head series of videos. The link to this playlist is in the description below. I do recommend you watch them so you can catch up and keep up with the contents in this video. A summary of what we've covered in this series so far. Which situations the knowledge of ego states can support you in? What ego states look like and how they work? Relating this knowledge to your upbringing. Observing yourself and others relating to thoughts, feelings and behaviours, specifically in relation to triggers and responses. And a breakdown of the ego states. And this includes critical parent, nurturing parent, rebellious child, adapted child and free child. Before we begin, a reminder of two important points as I have done throughout these videos, and they are 1. No state of mind is good or bad. They will all be either helpful or unhelpful to you in particular situations. This knowledge is not designed to bring about judgment on others or yourself. 2. The examples that I am using are of what the extremes would look and sound like. They are like the worst case scenario. They are not a typical balanced example. Adult. Let's put a face to the name. The adult in ego states is not what society's interpretation of what adult would be. So the term adult in this respect is not about the age of the individual. Actually, I've worked with clients who have had to develop their adult ego state from the tender age of seven years old. Now, don't get me wrong, that isn't about intellect and it's surely not an outcome that we would want to celebrate. I will discuss this in more detail later. The adult ego state is not passed on to us by default as our age is. It is a part of our psyche we would have had either taught to us, hence passed on, or a part we would have had to work on developing ourselves, whether this be intentionally or unintentionally. This would result in many individuals going through life not having had the opportunity, support or circumstance for whatever reason to actually develop their adult state of mind. As you can see here, the adult ego state is slap bang in the middle of the parent and the child. The parents are above as they perceive themselves to be authority figures and the kids are below as they are the youngsters and they wish to stay that way. In order to recognize which state of mind you are working with, you would need to take into account body language, tone of voice and message. All three of them together, not one on their own. Adult body language, open, balanced and welcoming. Adult tone of voice, balanced, non-judgmental and consistent. Adult message, they will use words and statements that are centered around the choice, the consequence and the balance of whatever is to be. They would use statements such as, wow, this looks like it's going to be a tough situation. I think I'd better take some time and consider my options. I cannot believe how difficult that was. What can I learn from this and use the next time it happens? Never say never. I am on a diet, but these Belgian chocolates look delicious. Yes, I could eat them and feel great for two minutes and then like crap for the next 24 hours. Hmm, which one do I choose? Instant gratification or delayed gratification? I think I'll go with delayed gratification. Imagine how I will feel at that party this weekend in that amazing dress. Now, adult doesn't have a superhero mode and a villain mode. There is no worst and there is no best. Why? Because a lot like assertiveness, which is from behavior types, the adult ego state is generally consistent and balanced in all they do. And so extreme behaviors do not occur from this particular state of mind. But, and this is a big but, this does not mean that they are loved by all. Far from it. The adult state of mind works well with some, but can clash profusely with others. Best buddies, I would have to go with adapted child. It's a really, this was a really tough one because to be honest, you can put adult with pretty much most ego states and it would be good. I've chosen adapted child because they would both be beneficial to each other. More than others, I think. 
Why? Okay, so adult loves to pass on knowledge and healthy behaviours to others. An adapted child loves to please and learn how to please even more. Pair these two up and wow, we would see the adapted child develop and blossom beyond all expectations. The adult would offer adapted child balanced positive recognition, feedback and support, which would enable the adapted child, or anyone for that matter, to become really quite empowered. Arch enemies. This one is pretty straightforward. Again, although adult would not have any resounding preference in this instance, adult and rebellious child would clash profusely. And that's more like rebellious child would clash profusely with adult. Adult would not. Why? Because the rebellious child is very, very sensitive to particular needs. And also, they've developed this really keen, uh, heightened, strong trigger to the critical parent. Adults' message can sound a lot like the critical parents, as it includes facts and is orientated around responsibilities and acceptance of situations. Whereas rebellious child doesn't want to know about all of that. All they want is for the other to either make them laugh, do as they say, or shower them with continuous praise. Effective interaction. In this instance, I would say critical parent. Why? Because there is nobody and mark my words, there is nobody that critical parent listens to. Why? Well, all other ego states are first and foremost subjective, meaning they come from a more emotional place, and that is the trigger that will set critical parent off into an authoritative, even a tyrant position, whereby they are able to intellectually win any argument and even make the other look pretty foolish. They are not able to do such a thing with adult because adult is generally very objective, meaning they will check the facts, they'll analyse the data and respond from a very matter-of-fact place, from a place of choice and consequence. Critical parent hates not to be the one who has the final say, but they will accept it and most certainly will not argue. Why? Because they know they will never win. In small doses, I'd have to say nurturing parent. Why? Because the nurturing parent could really benefit from having an adult around, especially in a family situation, with kids, etc. A reason for this is they could really do with learning how to stop rescuing everybody and to actually start empowering them instead. Nurturing parent tends to feel very guilty, especially when it comes to their children, and this is where it can become very detrimental to them, as, unbeknowing to them and their children, Their children will by default grow up in a victim, which is drama triangle victim, position, which is obviously then detrimental to everybody, but mostly the child, as they will have to endure tougher life lessons later on in life. Use this information to determine whether you have any adults in your environment, in your past and or in your present. Whether you think you may be an adult and use that information to observe and gather data. I have briefly mentioned using cognitive behavioural therapy in my last few videos. You would use this method to gather the data when you have a sudden shift in mood and then making notes of your thoughts, your feelings and your behaviour. When gathering this data, it is also important to observe and make a note of what ego state you were in prior to the shift in mood and then which state you moved into during or after the experience has taken place. If you have any questions, opinions or experiences you would like to share, please do pop them in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. If you have any topics you would like me to cover, again, pop them in the comments section below and I'll see what I can do for you. Part eight of the voices in your head will be coming soon. It is going to be about how you can now use all of this information and knowledge to help you in everyday situations very interesting stuff so make sure you subscribe to the channel and press that bell button so you don't miss a thing thank you for watching and please do like and share this video so you can pass this invaluable knowledge on to others especially to those we love and finally remember be a superhero not a villain